last requirement, number four, part D. Explain the procedures to follow in safe handling and storage of fresh meats, dairy products, eggs, vegetables, and other perishable food products. Tell how to properly dispose of camp garbage, cans, plastic containers, and other rubbish. Okay, in parts 4A, B, and C, we cover menu planning, food purchasing, and the gear you'll need to cook and eat that food. So let's eat. Not so fast. You're the one who wanted to go back over the whole process. Oh, yeah. So, let's take a look at safe ways to handle and store your food. That's especially important with fresh or perishable foods. First of all, fresh foods taste great on a campout. There's nothing like eggs in the morning or a beef stew at night. But, fresh foods are also some of the heaviest foods to carry. And they're called perishable because they can spoil over time. Meat and eggs are the first to go, especially if you don't keep them cold. And trust me, spoiled food not only tastes bad, it can be dangerous to eat. Fresh vegetables, fruits, cheeses, and cured meats can last a bit longer. But overall, fresh foods are better for one night campouts. Dried or dehydrated foods like pasta, beans, powdered milk, soup mix, dried fruit last a good while. They taste good and they're nutritious. And packed in plastic bags, they don't take up a lot of pack space. Canned goods also last a long time. Taste good, but they're heavy. Not a backpacker's dream. And remember, you'll be packing the empty cans out with you. Glass containers? You just don't want to go there. Now, thanks to modern science, we have these things called retort pouches. They seal all kinds of food in airtight bags, and they don't require refrigeration. What a deal! Just drop them in boiling water, and before you know it, you've got a hot meal. You can really lighten your load and save space by removing excess packaging, pre-measuring and packing ingredients in labeled plastic bags, then sticking all the smaller bags into one bigger bag for each meal. Once you're in camp, you not only need to protect your food from spoilage, oh. you need to protect it from critters. Some critters are cute but some can be downright dangerous. You can save yourself a lot of trouble by hoisting your food up between two trees in a bear bag. Use it at night and whenever you leave the campsite. When the camp pet's over and they're ready to head home, scouts live by a simple rule. Pack it in, pack it out. So any food scraps get packed up and carried out. We also take trash and empty containers home for recycling and disposal. And you can check your Boy Scout handbook for how to dispose of dishwater in an earth-friendly way. That's first class requirement for D. Safe procedures for food storage and handling. And the proper disposal of camp garbage and rubbish.